Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be comparing a good old GTX 1080, not a TI, just a regular 1080, with a 980 Ti Pascal versus Maxwell. Um, as you guys have probably already noticed, the GPU market is kind of dry at the moment. So I figured it'd be kind of cool just going out of my way and buying a older card and testing it with something a bit newer and theoretically more efficient and I'm about to give you guys the results in a bit performance wise I'm thinking both of these cards are gonna hash around the same very similar the thing I'm most interested about is the power consumption and we'll see that in a bit so stay tuned alright guys so I have my awesome super high-tech uh, setup over here and like always the first thing we want to do is remove any variable so I remove the graphics card and I'm running just the system itself the system consists of the hard drive <clears throat> the RAM CPU fan the motherboard itself and the power supply and all of that oh come on I think you guys can see it though, it's around 30, 31 watts, this thing will not autofocus, but whatever, it's around 31 watts, um, so you guys can see up here, good old Intel HD graphics, nothing else, that way we know how much the graphics card itself is drawing without having to guesstimate what the system it's pulling. Alright guys, so I have the 1080 Ti hooked up and before I start mining I want to show you guys the idle uh, wattage is drawing it's pulling around 40 watts 41 ish so the card itself sitting idle only draws around like 9 watts roughly so that's pretty good I just wanted to show you guys that before I start mining. Alright, to start it off, I'm going to keep the card stock. I'm not going to change anything. The only thing I changed was the fan speed. I set it to 70% uh, in order to try to keep the temperature below 70 Celsius. So as you guys can see, it's hashing around 515-ish or so. Fan set to 70%, power limit 100, didn't do anything to the core clock or the memory clock. It's basically running stock. And this is how much it's drawing. Two twenty-four watts. I'll have something up here in the upper left showing you guys the actual wattage. But uh, I'm going to try to undervolt it and lower this wattage a bit. Alright guys. So I brought the power limit down to 70%. And did a small core clock overclock and a memory clock overclock. And the goal here was to bring the hash rate fairly close to what it is stock. But try to save some electricity in the process so as you guys can see it's pulling quite a bit less sitting at around 170 watts that's pretty impressive and we're not losing a whole lot of hash rate at all I think we've dropped like seven which is like a two percent drop hardly noticeable but we've saved a lot of electricity just with those two simple modifications I've done and uh, when testing the 980 Ti I'm gonna be using the exact same parameters well they might be a little different actually since it's a different architecture whoa we're actually running a bit faster now than we were before so we haven't really lost any hash rate at all but we've dropped like 50 watts 
that's pretty darn impressive. Let's see what the 980 Ti can do. So just like the GTX 1080, I have the card sitting at stock settings and uh, right away I can tell it's drawing quite a bit more at idle. I think the GTX 1080 at idle was pulling around 41. So this is drawing about, what is it, like 17? 17 watts compared to the 9, the 1080 it was drawing. It's not a huge difference in the, in the card. If you're going to be using it for mining, it's never really going to ever be at idle anyways. But uh, let's see how efficient this thing is. Alright, so we have the 980 Ti running at stock settings. Hashing around 413 and it fluctuates a bit. It's actually hashing a bit lower than I thought it was gonna. But uh anyhow. The card at stock is drawing around 265 watts, 266. So it's drawing around 40 watts more than the 1080 is. And it's hashing about a hundred solutions less so so far uh, it's not looking too good for this 980 Ti it's actually honestly it's actually not that bad but uh it's pretty hard to beat a 1080 Ti and a 1080 to be honest but we'll see what we can do alright guys so after messing with this uh, 980 Ti for a good half an hour this is about as high as I can push it uh, with a 70% power limit you should be able to push it a bit higher uh, cranking the power limit up a bit but we're trying to make it as efficient as we can right so we got the hash rate to go up a bit 422 ish so it's still pretty pretty high pretty up there uh, obviously not as good as a 1080 but it's it's not bad not bad at all pretty good hash rate but the wattage though, that's a little disappointing. It's not terrible by any means. It's still pretty darn good. Um, you're still going to see a really good profit from this. And the card itself is not super expensive. You know, like a 1080 Ti or a 1080. Um, you're going to be paying 500, 700 bucks for those. You can pick one of these up for around 320-ish or so if you're lucky on eBay. And uh, it works really good, surprisingly good. So it's it's definitely worth it. I mean, I'll do all the little calculations and put them up in the screen and let you guys decide. But uh, not not bad, definitely not bad. I might consider buying a couple more. But I uh, will see. The thing I re I'm really impressed about is the temperatures. 52 Celsius and the fans are only at 60%. I reckon I can drop the fans down to like 40-ish or so. And I'll still keep the card under 70. Which is absolutely fantastic for the card itself. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoy these type of videos where I compare cards and do just... Random shenanigans like this. Let me know and I'll, I'll start doing more, more things like this. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.